Go ahead and give it a watch. Kid friendly show. If you or your family wants to get into cooking some nice healthy meals, they have a lot of that. And hopefully I can go through and make a good portion of the dishes from the show. That's my goal at least. We'll see how that goes. Now we cut the potatoes. Okie doke. So this was about four yellow potatoes and three sweet potatoes. And just as a word of warning, I did have to soak the sweet potatoes a little bit, but didn't show that. Here's this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add some vegetable oil to the potatoes so they can be frying up while I cook everything else. So let's turn this to uh, about a three. And then I'll give it a good stir just so everything's a little more evenly coated. So we'll just let this sit for a little bit while I prep everything else. So one thing I like about in the show is that originally when I first watched it, I thought they were using some kind of pumpkin something because I saw the orange in the dish, but I like that they use sweet potatoes. I think it does tie in that Cinderella pumpkin carriage flair that they had going on. In the show, one thing that they did add to the hash towards the end was as they put it, a pound of bacon. Obviously, I'm not using real bacon, so today we will be using benevolent bacon from Sweet Earth. I'll take my cook sheet, so I'll start by coating the pan with some olive oil, then we'll cut our bacon out. So for reference, this is what one of the pieces of bacon looks like uncooked. Bacon is already pre-seasoned, but you'll, you'll see later that I am still gonna season it, just for the record. So right off the bat, this is hickory and sage flavored. So each of these packs of bacon had about eight to nine, maybe 10, if I would have separated them a little better, pieces of bacon in them. And the stats for this particular brand, each of these slices has four grams of protein, zero cholesterol, 70% less fat than pork bacon. Fun fact. In the show, they didn't exactly say what they seasoned the bacon with, but it kind of had like a yellowish tint to it. So I assume it was something with turmeric, but I don't have any turmeric. So instead, we're gonna just do a little mismatch of things. So I got my ground cumin, sweet mesquite seasoning, and a little onion and garlic powder. Pop the bacon in the oven at 350. Next, we're gonna go ahead and chop up an onion in a half. First bit of onions, onions part two. Okay, some of the last things we're gonna add to the hash are two jalapeno seeds removed. Pop 
jalapenos to the pot. Now we'll go ahead and season the little hash mixture. I'll keep it simple, just some salt and pepper. It's been a few minutes and our hash is almost done, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn the hash down and turn the bacon up a little, just so it'll be done closer to the same time. Then the next step is to go ahead and fry our egg. This is our just vegan egg. In the show, they made a sunny side up egg, and obviously this doesn't have a yolk, so it's not gonna do that. This is meant for scrambling mostly. I'm gonna see how I can try to make it into a circle. Maybe I'll just cut it at the end. I don't really know. We'll see. So with the vegan egg, the first thing I'll do is go ahead and mix it. So this, it's a broth base and it's chicken flavored, it's vegan. Whenever I'm making scrambled eggs, I add just a little bit of this to make it taste a little more realistic or whatever. Just a pinch. Then of course a little salt and pepper. So I have this little pan. I'm gonna fill up the bottom just so that the bottom of the surface is covered. I'm pretty sure that'll be too big. And if that's the case, I'll just go ahead, take it out, cut it, and then it'll just be whatever shape I want it to be. So our bacon looks nice and crispy. I'll go ahead and take that out. So we're just gonna wait for this to cool down a little bit, then we'll chop it up and put it in here. Fun fact about this little cooking challenge, they actually stole the name from me. The name of this challenge is called Bippity Boppity Bon Appetit. Sounds a little familiar, sounds a little too close to Lisa's Boneless Appetit Test Kitchen if you ask me. So this is, I don't know if you can tell at all, but this is the consistency after it's cooked. It's not super crispy, but it is definitely firmer on the sides. The bacon is not chopping like I thought it would. It's more like tearing. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna tear it up and put it in the skillet. So here's the bacon all torn up and I'll just stir it on in. Looking good. Also, our vegan egg is puffing up around the side, so it looks like it's ready to be flipped or taken out. So for this dish, I'm gonna use my blue and white polka dot plate, bowl, thing, platter. So everything is almost done, just a little bit more time. But one of the last things I have to do is cut up this tomato for garnish. And the last thing to cut is some fresh parsley. I went ahead and I took the vegan egg out of the pan and now it's right here on this plate. And as you can see, it's a circle, but it's gonna be way too big. So I'll just take one of my handy dandy Mickey cookie cutters and we'll go ahead and stick her right there. And just like that, we have our Mickey to put on top of our hash. Well, with that out of the way, I think we're ready to finally plate this thing. So here we go. Add a tomato, some fresh parsley. And finally, our Mickey egg. Ta-da! Ta-da! Boneless apple tea. And of course, what cooking video would be complete without a taste test? Boneless apple tea. That is good. I wouldn't have thought to put sweet potatoes and regular potatoes together, but they actually go together really nicely. And the sweet potato tastes really good with the bacon and they kind of balance each other out. All in all, I think this one was a success. Lisa approves. This would be a pretty good breakfast on any given day. With that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. This was my attempt at the Bippity Boppity Bon Appetit Challenge from Be Our Chef. Tune in next time. We're gonna be doing Big Hero 6 theme. Leave a comment down below if this is something that you would wanna try because I gotta say, it's not something I would've thought of by myself, but all these things actually do go together pretty well. And I bet it would be really good in the fall as a nice fall breakfast with sweet potato. All in all, I would recommend this. If you've made it this far in the video, I just wanna say thank you for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Toodles! Let me free, don't wanna be no, no, no one else. I'd rather rescue
myself